Hi everyone, I'm Vishnu Subramaniam, founder of Jarvis Labs. In this video, we are going to look at a very popular user interface called Comfy UI, which allows us to generate a lot of images using open source stable diffusion model. So a simple workflow in Comfy UI looks like this. Uh, there are multiple nodes like these, right? And uh, it's, it acts like a graph with a lot of connections that goes on and at the end it generates image. So what we will do is we'll start with something uh, empty Canva and we'll generate everything from scratch. To do that, we'll say clear this entire workflow. We call this as a workflow. Let's clear that entire thing and we'll start with something. We'll start with a particular node. What node should we start with? M mostly the choice comes to what model you want to interact with, right? To load a model, we have a comfy UI node called load checkpoint. So we are taking a load checkpoint and in this we can choose any model that we want. In this example, let me go and take some, a very popular model called Jagarnaut. And let's connect this uh, node to multiple nodes. So how do I come up with what is the next node that I have to attach? One easy way to do is you can take, connect this thing from any particular output of this particular node and leave it. And Comfy UI recommends you what nodes actually goes with it. One such node is clip text in code. This is where you usually prompt what image you want, right? So let's say a photo of a beautiful girl, close up. Let's say for I want it for Instagram, right? And usually we have two texts that goes into model. One is positive prompt and negative prompt. So we need one more uh, clip text encoder. So let's do this. And here we add some negative prompts like ugly. We don't want it to be ugly and malformed, right? We want it to be have a proper structure. We don't want the girl to have five or ten fingers. Then from the model, let's see what happens. Let's go and see what the model has. And most of these, most of the workflows that we have in Comfy UI has this common thing called k sampler, which acts like the brain that connects everything, the model, the text encoder, the variational auto encoder, everything, right? So let's connect these text prompts to the positive and negative prompts, which we created just now. And let's add this variational encoder, uh, not here, in just a minute. So this needs a latent image. So the case sampler takes three predominant inputs. One is positive prompt, negative prompt, and latent image. For latent image, let's start with something uh, empty image, which is random noise of the required height and width. Let's say we change this to 1024. Most of the models that are trained on SDXL will be able to generate the images of 1024, 1024 pixel. So I have this empty latent. Now we need to create an output from the latent, which should be a VAE decode because what case sampler generates, what this entire model generates is not something which humans can understand. This VAE needs two uh, inputs. One is the sample that is coming from case sampler and one is the variational auto encoder, which allows it to decode the latent. So we almost done. There's one thing that we want to uh, do is we want to see how the image looks like. So we either have a preview image or save image. Since I'm just doing it for a demonstration purpose, I, I will just start with a uh, preview image. Once all this is done, you can click on Q prompt or you can click on some, do something like command enter, which will start uh, the graph from the start, which is loading the checkpoint, going through the uh, different prompts, and then doing the case sampler, doing multiple steps. Here, the number of steps is 20. We have different samplers. We have different schedulers. Denoise is mostly used when you have image to image. And then you have a decoder, which generates a beautiful uh, girl's image. Probably you could use it for Instagram if you're that particular girl. So this is a very simple workflow, often a very good place to start understanding Comfy UI. Uh, before ending this video, I also want to show you something that we have done at Jarvis Labs to make your lives easier. So if you're getting started with Comfy UI and you don't have a GPU, 
and you don't want to worry about setting up how to put all the software required, download all the models, what you can do is you can just use one of our frameworks in Jarvis Labs. You can click on this, uh, choose what GPU you want. We support some of the best NVIDIA GPUs available. Choose a storage type and click on launch in less than 30 to 40 seconds you have your instance up and running. So the demo that I showed you was already running on a Jarvis Labs instance. So we can see what all it comes with. This Comfy UI is, shows the actual application running. We also have a Jupyter Lab, which lets you access the different files if you want to add any models through a terminal, just like how you do it in your local instance, you can do all those things here, right? Uh, it offers you ultimate flexibility. You can try it and if you uh, face any challenges, you can always ping us on the chat option available in our website. We will also open a Discord uh, in which you can connect with our, our team and you can talk to us. We'll be happy to help you. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll be happy to make more videos. Thank you. Bye-bye.